In this video, we will talk about hosting websites on the internet. I'll just have the file manager ready. Okay. So, first thing is, once we create a web page, note that it is only a local file on your computer. They won't automatically be uploaded to the internet unless you're using an online service to program them. So let's say I have a file to host. For example, hmm, one minute. This one. Let's say I wanted to host this file. Let me just move it here. There we go. So what should I do? Well, there are several services to host HTML files. The first one is FileZilla. But that is a little complicated one. But the easiest one I know is GitHub. GitHub is a software sharing platform where you can upload files and commit repositories. But also has the feature to take HTML files and turn them into web pages. So this is the home page. Right now I'm signed in, so it will show like this, but if you're not signed in, it will show like this. So to start, you need to first create an account if you don't have one. So it's sign up. Now it would ask for your email and then the password you would like. And once you create the account, you should see your new system. So to upload the files, you must click new, the one that says new repository. Then give the repository a name. Uh, I'll put this. And if you want to add a description, it's optional. And then you have the options to put it as public or private. You can put either one, but if you put it as private, for a free account, it wouldn't work. But if you have paid for a pro account, which I have, it would work. So anyway, so create repository. Next you have two options, to create a new file or upload an existing file from your computer. You can choose either. In this case, I want to upload a file to the compute, uh, from the computer. So I have to choose upload an existing file. Here you have the option to drag the files from the from your computer's manager or just click on them. So I just do it like this. So actually you must note one thing. If you want to upload files, you'd actually need the main page, the home page to be named as index.html. Web services uh, consider index.html as the home page. So this is how you have to upload. Hit commit changes and in this case it's a relatively small file so it uploaded it almost immediately. Next you have to go to settings 
and then go to GitHub Pages. And in the source section, select main, leave this field as is, and hit save. Now note, because this is made under your account, the website would be hosted in this kind of e uh, URL, https colon slash slash your username dot github dot io slash your project name. So this is how it will be stored. In this case, it will be stored as happysmaran dot github dot io slash forms example. And then if you have a home page, it would be slash index.html at the end. There we go. It's now hosted on the web. Now note that once you immediately create a GitHub page, you have to wait for a little time so that it gets uploaded to the server. But once it upload, but once it uploads, you can use it. Now, right now, it has this long URL. If you want to have a custom URL, like google.com and all of that, it's really easy to do. In code, you have to create a new file. And once you do, you have to name that file as CNAME all capitals. Create a new file. And so this is how it will be named. And inside you have to enter your custom domain. Generally that would be www dot uh, followed by something dot com. This is the recommended format. And then you have to hit enter. Then in the settings page, in the pages section, after creating the C name, it would automatically detect it and check it for it. If you have immediately created it without actually buying a domain, it will give you an error. So if you want to use a custom domain, you'll have to buy a domain. Domains are not that expensive. I've seen several of them go for $5 or 200 rupees or something like that. But that is how, what you would do if you wanted to add a custom domain. You can also do it right here. But for now, if you haven't added any, it will just use the default like this. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.